The car in this problem is moving around a circular track of radius r at the constant speed v of 12 meters per second. And we're asked to find the normal force on the car at the bottom and top of the track. At each point, as the car is moving in circular motion, there's a centripetal acceleration, always directed toward the center with a magnitude of v squared over r. Let's draw two free body diagrams, one at the bottom of the track and one at the top of the track, and use these along with Newton's second law to solve for the normal force. At the bottom, there are two forces acting on the car. Its weight is straight down as always, and the normal force, n sub b for bottom, is directed perpendicular to it straight up. At the top of the track, there are two forces again. The weight is straight down, and now the normal force pushes on the car also in the downward direction. If we take y to be positive upwards, we can apply Newton's second law, adding all the forces in the vertical direction, setting it equal to mass times acceleration in that direction. Summing the forces comes from the free body diagram. So at the bottom of the track, we have the normal force minus the weight equals mass times acceleration. At the bottom of the track, the acceleration is the centripetal acceleration and it's directed up along positive y. So we have plus mass times centripetal acceleration, which is mv squared over r. Now we can solve for the normal force and substitute the known numbers. Which gives us a value of 61.8 newtons. Doing the same thing at the top of the track will tell us the normal force there. Sum the forces and set it equal to ma. Summing the forces again comes from the free body diagram. There are two forces in the negative y direction, normal force at the top and the weight. The acceleration at the top of the track is the centripetal acceleration directed towards the center of the circle, and that's down in the negative direction. So ay is minus ac, and that gives us minus mv squared over r. Now we can solve for the normal force at the top of the track seeing that this time we have m v squared over r minus g instead of plus g, and substitute the known values. To find the normal force at the top is the smaller value of 30.4 newtons.